hypertension is the most important risk factor for chronic disease burden in the world. In the year 2017, there were almost 10.2 million deaths that were ascribed to hypertension. The prevalence of hypertension in India as per National Family Health Survey is 25% and when we look to males and females in the age group of 15 to 49 years the prevalence of hypertension is 13.8% whereas in the age group of 15 to 54 years the prevalence of hypertension in females is 8.8% in the last few decades the prevalence of hypertension has substantially increased perhaps because of the changing lifestyle and with the rapid urbanization of our country. If we look at the risk factors, age is an important determinant of hypertension. With increasing age, the prevalence of hypertension increases and that is in part because of the stiffening of the arteries, the blood vessels which carry blood to various parts of our body, the conduits, they get stiffened up, the walls get thick, less elastic, the main blood vessel of our body, aorta, it also gets stiff. So with this stiffening, the blood pressure rises and people suffer from hypertension. Tobacco use is an important risk factor in our country. The use of pan masala, chewing of tobacco, and smoking. All of them, they contribute significantly to hypertension in our country. Nicotine, which is the active ingredient of tobacco, increases the blood pressure levels. With the increasing use of tobacco in the youth of this country, the prevalence of hypertension is also increasing. Our lifestyle, that is a sedentary lifestyle. All of us are now getting accustomed to a sedentary lifestyle, we are doing less of physical activity. We don't go for regular morning walks. We are doing less of sports, less of physical activities. A physical activity of at least 45 minutes per day walking is considered essential, but very few of us go for walks and that too of a duration of 45 minutes. We are playing less of sports, even when we go to the rural areas, the farmers, with the rapid mechanization of farming practices, the physical activity levels have gone down. The World Health Organization recommends a daily dietary salt intake of no more than 5 grams per day. As per a recent survey conducted by the Public Health Foundation of India, as well as, as studied in other studies, the average consumption of salt in Indian households typically varies from 11 to 14 grams per day per person. This is almost more than two times the WHO recommendations as well as it's almost five to seven times the physiological need. Our need of salt per day is almost two grams per day. When we cross all these limits, then salt contributes to the development of hypertension or high blood pressure. When the consumption of salt increases, the extracellular fluid volume in our body, it goes up and this leads to the development of hypertension. Hypertension is a major public health issue in India and when we come to the causes why hypertension is more prevalent in India, then salt is one of the important risk factors. If we look at our dietary practices, an Indian diet generally contains some amount of chutney, pickle, papar, some local uh, regional practices like khakra. So when we look at all these things, they contain more of salt and while some of the ingredients in these chutneys may be beneficial to our body, but the salt is harmful. We need to restrict the salt in our diet. Apart from this, 
many people are in the habit of putting sprinkling salt on the food that is served to them sprinkling sprinkling salt or salad all this contributes to an increased amount of salt in our diet which in turn leads to a development of hypertension we need to cut down on the amount of salt that we are consuming in our diet 